And in Lagos, mixed reactions have trailed that presidential order. While many believe it's a step in stopping the spread of the virus, others are concerned about those who get daily pay from their businesses. Theophilus Salama reports. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a stir around several economies. Major economies are shutting down as a result. With Lagos having the most number of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria, the state government instituted a partial lockdown. Now, President Muhammad Buhari has instituted a total lockdown for two weeks, starting March 30th. Actually, they say prevention is better than cure. What, president, what Mr. President did, he did a right thing. But what, what I expect from Mr. President is, first thing first, palliative measures should be put in place because um, Lagosians has more than 20 something million people in Lagos. And most of these people, like 75% of these people, are what we call they are in informal sector. We have fed the business so hard, but it's for our own good. Okay. For our own good. So, because disease is so, so spreading everywhere. Where you go to Italy, that's what happened in Italy today. Mm -hmm. That's what happened in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So, that we are that for two weeks closed, and no problem. And this lockdown is what I'm expecting from the government to do before, not now. Okay. You understand? I know it will affect us in one way or the other. But at the same time, the government is trying to protect us. We are better for this COVID-19. While there is concern for those who earn daily pay, this butcher believes that the directive is necessary. He says despite the fact that his business will be affected, it's better to be safe. I they give you before we buy markets, I put four in on their hand, I collect money for their hand. I mean, self, I'm using it. I have collect money for customer hand. I use it to rub my hand. And any customer who wants to buy a market, I'll put my hand first. If I collect money. Some lawmakers are using this opportunity to sensitize their constituents on the need to stay safe. We are speaking with um, Honorable Yishao, the uh, uh, representing Etiosa to constituents of the Lagos State House of Assembly, who was on the sensitization and uh, talking to Nigerians and Lagosians about this order. Now, looking at this order, how do you see it at this point? A lot of Nigerians are concerned about the spread of COVID-19. Well, like I mentioned earlier, um, it's great concern to everybody. But um, as you notice, the Lagos State Governor had done a lot. We've tried to push the impact of the virus back. You can see all the centers we are sending up, the testing, the isolation, and so on and so forth. But um, also, we, we try to tell people to stay at home because that is how it's been handled everywhere in the world. You have to stay at home. Just stay in your houses. But now that the federal government has locked down Lagos, Abuja, and uh, Ogun State, well, I, I think it's, it, it's the right way to go. There's, there's nothing we can do about that. But uh, more importantly, there are people that live on a daily basis, hand to mouth, as is popularly called. We need to now start finding ways of mitigating the city, mitigating against the situation for them, because that's where their daily income comes from. Apart from the people that are already poor in the first instance, there are more people. You have mechanics, you have carpenters, they can't go to work, there's no job to be done. So those people we need to start catching for. And Lagos State Government has started something. There's the relief um, food that is food being bag. given, the food bag that's been given out to various places. It's not enough. We on our own part, as members of the House of Assembly, representing people, we're doing things on our own as well, and it's going to be continuous. But more importantly, I want to beg all locations, neighbors, help your neighbors. You understand? If you have enough, give it out. Help your neighbors. It is very, very important. We, it, 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 there's no amount of money that we can put in this that can be enough, but it has to be collective effort. Nigeria reported its first case of the novel coronavirus on February 27th when an Italian businessman tested positive. Since then, over 100 cases have been reported and several recoveries. Theophilus Ilama. CBC News, Lagos.